How's it going? Jasper from Limo Codes here. Today, I'd like to share a simple tool to help you create an AI chatbot agent that can do Q&A and also act as a lead magnet to provide free value to your users in exchange for their email address as leads. Right now, a lot of companies still do their lead magnets with a form. So basically, the user will have to input their email in exchange. The company will send them a maybe a free ebook through the email address um, as free value. Recently, as we start to build more AI chatbot agents for other companies and also help and also teach people how to build AI chatbots, we have seen a trend in the market where a lot of companies are creating these mini AI chatbot agents that they can embed everywhere on their website as, a, as separate tools, as separate lead magnet tools to provide personalized answers in exchange for an email address. So this is a new way to um, not only help you generate more leads, but also help you boost the time of engagement on your website. And in turn, they have seen increase in their SEO ranking because now Google thinks their websites, their pages are very useful because people engage on there uh, a lot longer than before when uh, they didn't have these mini AI chatbot agents. So in today's video, I'd like to share a tool to help you make that for your own company or your website or your brand as well. So. What you are seeing right now on the screen is what I have created quickly whipped out within five minutes for the more codes. And it has all my social links there. It can be shared as a separate page or it can be embedded on my website as, um, as a chat bubble here. And also, I can also embed that easily on my website as an iframe embed. What this chatbot agent does is it can, it can answer questions based on the document that I have provided it when I was making this agent or we can also um or for example with no code one of the way i can generate lead is by providing part of my service for free for example help user pick out the best no code tool for their website usually maybe people need to hop on a call with me um, but now if i have this ai agent i can use that uh, to quickly provide this sort of personalized response to quickly provide free value to my users uh, in, in, in a more conversational, more engaging way. So let's try it. So basically right now I want the agent to help me pick a tool. And the agent would first ask a couple questions to help uh, formulate that final, that personalized response in the end. So it will ask me what kind of app I'm building. I'm just basically gonna say web app, I'm building an MVP and a, I am, I have some I have some experience with no code and I am a designer. So these are the couple questions that I, I told the agent to ask the user to help the agent to formulate that final response. And now I just have to confirm all the uh, notes that the agent has been capturing and it should start to write the final response to write the final document. Um, it might take some time here, so I will fast forward until it is done, but it should take no longer than 10 seconds to generate. Yep. And now the response, it's almost ready. It, it will ask for my email. And this is the lead magnet part that we were talking about uh, before we give out the free value, the free recommendation, exchange the user needs to provide their email address. And also now get a name and I'll provide the name. And the agent should just start sending out email to the email address. And it will also prompt you to start a new chat or ask a bit more general question. But yeah, let's check our mailbox. See, the email is already there. And as you can see, you can see the, the final response. It has uh, basically told me that uh, we use Bubble and it gives out a reason. And also it provided a CTA to schedule a call with me. And all of these are configured with the tool I am going to show you right now. The tool is called Ditto AI. It, it is a no-code AI agent creation tool that help you create an AI representative for your brands, for your business, to answer questions, to engage the audience, and also provide your expertise uh, in exchange for users' email. It, right now, the AI agent specializes in doing Q&A and also uh, act as a lead magnet. Disclaimer, this tool is built by our team. But right now you can create limited agents for free. But what we have seen with other clients, other companies is that uh, with AI agents that you can embed, 
it really helps to boost your SEO ranking and also really automated that uh, lead magnet part of your business in a more engaging and a more conversational way. Let me walk you guys through how I created the agent that I just showcased in a couple steps. So this is the first screen you're gonna see when you create your own agent. All you have to provide is a role. Right now I say the agent is a no-code expert, we give it a tone. And you can also connect a knowledge, let me just remove mine for now. So basically your diddle will answer questions based on the knowledge that you have connected. If you don't connect the knowledge, you, it can't answer questions. Uh, so right now let's connect the no code Q&A. So these are all the stuff I have uploaded before, but if you don't have anything, uh, you can upload your own knowledge. It, we can either help you scrape the website or you can upload your own file as a knowledge reference. Uh, but since I've already uploaded my normal code Q&A PDF, I would just simply select that. And now let's see how the lead magnet part is configured. It's very simple. All you have to do is step one, tell the agent what information it needs to collect before it formulate the final response. So these are the informations typically you need to collect before you can even personalize the final response that's tailored to that specific user. And step two is basically instruct how Diddle, uh, what content the Diddle should include in the final response and how to structure it. It's not a very long prompt. For, for me, it's not really a long prompt. It simply just say, based on the project description, based on all the information you have here, uh, and also based on the reference document, the reference document, uh, provide the no code tool suggestion and explain why. And finish off with a Calendly booking to book a call with me. And so basically here, you can also connect a knowledge source. Right now I have my own no code picker PDF that I have previously uh, wrote, that I, previ that I previously wrote. I basically just chuck it in there. So before the Diddle makes the final response, it will first reference this document and also reference the information collected. And based on the criteria that I have in the, this PDF document, it will then finalize uh, how the response should be structured and what tool it, it will pick out for the user. And then we just finish off with the email subject and the email signature um, that the user is gonna see when they see the final response in their mailbox, uh, email uh, inbox. So we can complete that. And after that, all the, basically the, the agent behavior has already been set up. It's super simple. You don't have to understand how to set up the decision trees. Everything has been handled by on our end. All you have to do is to provide uh, the knowledge source and also provide some instructions on how to find personalize that response. And then you can move on to configure your branding. You can upload your logo, you can upload your cover, the basic the background image and give it a name, give it a headline, plug your links, social links in here. And once everything's you're happy, you can go to the next step. Basically you can set up your conversation opening message here. So that's the initial message message you're gonna see on the agent. And also you can add three CTAs. Three the CTAs are basically predefined message you're gonna to send to the to agent. And depending on the skills that you have linked, um, it will trigger a different task. For, for example, these two, first two are basically going to trigger and answer the questions because these are two questions that I want that the user would typically ask me. So um, I just put them there as the main CTA so the users can easily just click on that and then ask that question without them typing the question up. Let me show you how you can easily add a, add a CTA. So you can either click that button or click this button here. And first, you just want to write out what the message looks like. For me, it's help me pick a tool. So basically, that's going to appear here. That's the question it's going to ask agent to do. And instead of for these questions, instead of uh, connecting that to answer questions, I want to connect that to provide expert response. So the difference between answering question and provide expert response is, is basically answering question, it will just pull out the knowledge from the knowledge source and then give it, give it a response. But if you pick provide expert personalized response as the skill to trigger, uh, the data will actually move on to, the data will actually start asking questions to the users first to collect that prerequisite information to help them guide the final personalized response. So we can add that in. And now it's basically all set up. You can, we can finish up and you can see a immediate preview of what the agent is gonna look like. You can even test the agent straight away in here. 
for, for example, I just triggered the Q&A with the predefined answer, a uh, predefined question, and it will basically provide that response. So after that, you can click deploy. Once you're ready to share this page or embed that page, you can either share as a standalone page or you can share as a chat bubble embed, simply copy that code. You can also share as an iframe embed, you can simply just copy that code. Before you share as a standalone page, you can also claim a pretty custom ditto slug URL that you want. Otherwise, it would just be the document, uh, the reference ID of that ditto. It doesn't look that pretty. So I recommend you to uh, set up your uh, pretty URL here. This is all you need to create an agent like that, that you can share as a standalone page. You can embed as a chat bubble, or you can embed that as part of your blog to create free value, to provide free value to your users in exchange for their email. And also boost your SEO, boost your time engagement on your website and also your SEO ranking. And this is it for today. Until next time, ciao.